Well, I mean, w- when you win in the MAC, it's it's a great day for you. Um, and it was a really good win for us because it was against Bowling Green, a team that we've struggled with since I've been here. That was my first victory against Bowling Green. But it, w- it was a big game for our kids. They were fired up for the game. They knew the last couple of years. We, we let a couple of games uh, – in reach get get out and I was just really really happy there was twice I think we were down by eight or nine points where our kids could have given up but they grinded and grinded and grinded and in the second half I thought our defense was so much better our rebounding was so much better so I give a, a, a kids a lot of credit and obviously Hannah Luberg you know had a career night 25 points 15 rebounds um, I know that she's she's had games where she scored more points but I think that's her her best in rebounding and um just really, really happy for her uh, because she gave us some great offensive rebounds when we needed it. it. But it gives the kids confidence. I mean, we know who the top teams are. We know, you know, like to be a top team, you got to beat the top teams. You got to, you got to beat Toledo's. You got to beat right now the Central Michigans who who have done extremely well. And then you got to beat Bowling Green. And you know, we didn't play really well versus Toledo and Central Michigan. You know, was a better team that night. And you know, to have gone down three games in a row, that would have been devastating for our kids. So for them to bounce back and be, you know, a very, very solid, very good Bowling Green team, uh, shows a lot of a character of, of our team and how they handle adversity. And um, I give our kids a lot of credit. I was that we fought really hard last night for that W. Well, you know, again, in this league, you, you, you need to respect everybody. It doesn't matter. First place, last place, you know. Buffalo, they're solid. They're, they're, they're a team that has a new coaching staff. Uh, right now they believe in their system. They're playing hard. Um, you know, I, it didn't surprise me that they beat Miami. They've had a couple other nice wins, too. And so we're going to have to respect them. Uh, well coached. Um, you know, we're going to have to do a good job today and practice and, and really be prepared and, and kind of put Bowling Green behind us. We can't, we can't think about Bowling Green anymore. We've got to worry only about the Buffalo, Bill, Buffalo Bulls. You know, but it's, it's, it's equal for both. Um, we'll be a light workout today on the court. Uh, we'll watch tape from uh, last night's game, and then we'll watch tape and go over the scouting report on Buffalo, and then we'll get on the court and uh, work on some things that we need to improve on from last night and things that we need to do to, uh, to uh, have a chance to beat Buffalo. I mean, the importance is, is you're trying to raise money, you know, for cancer research. Kay Yao is an ambassador, a pioneer for women's basketball who passed away a few years back, you know, with breast cancer. And so any way that we can give back and try to raise money and raise awareness. So anybody that can come out and, and support, you know, uh, the foundation can support the women's basketball team, raise some money. It would, it would be a great day. The game's at 2 o'clock. The men follow at 5 o'clock versus Ohio University.